That's fine, Doctor. I'm, I'm happy to come in tomorrow. But I'd really like to know the results of the biopsy now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I understand. That. <laughs> what did the doctor say? Uh, that I'm fine. You're fine? <sighs> no cancer. Oh my, oh my god. You scared me for a minute. Yeah. Why? Because I just had a mini breakdown? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you have to admit the interpretation of that could have got my way. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It just it hit me all at once, you know. I've been so braced for bad news. You know what I did last night? I caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror and I, I grabbed my hair and pulled it back as close to my head as I could just trying to visualize what I was going to look like during chemo. And then I sat at the computer you know, for the rest of the night and just trying to search everything I could on, on breast cancer. You know, recovery blogs, statistics, horror stories. Even found words of inspiration, you know, finally just accepting that it was a fight that I was going to have to take on. And now, all of a sudden, I guess I know the true meaning of dodging a bullet. Well, obviously, I'm so happy for you and really impressed by the way you handled everything. Oh, my God, please. Nicholas, look at me. I I've been whining and obsessing about this for weeks. You haven't? And I was there. You've gone through a frightening experience with grace and dignity, I thought. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you just pinched me or something. I don't know. I can't believe it, Nicholas. I'm healthy. <laughs> I know. Cancer free. I know, and I think that this is cause for a celebration. <laughs> yeah. What do you have in mind? You tell me. What's one thing that you want to do the most at this moment. I can promise you that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do I have whipped cream on my nose? No, no, you just have this look of pure joy on your face. I've never seen it before. You and I got off to a rocky start. Meeting in the middle of the fire. My resemblance to Emily. Yeah. And just when we were finally starting to adjust to each other, you had this cancer scare. Right? You know, under normal circumstances, I'm actually a pretty fun person. <laughs> you say that like, like you think I find that hard to believe. Well, I know. So far, you've only met my dark self. Are you hard of hearing? I told you not to call me tonight. Do you not get that I just had an up close and personal encounter with my own mortality and now I'm supposed to hold your hand? Try something new. Think for yourself. Everything all right? You sound pretty upset. Yeah, I know you heard me in the restaurant. Good thing we're not busy tonight. As long as you're all right. Yeah, no, it's just a minor irritation. You know, I've got this friend from home. Love her dearly, but she's not exactly what you call self-sufficient. And, uh, not always as patient with her as I should be. I think we're all guilty of that from time to time. Yeah, well, you know what? I don't want to be guilty tonight. I just uh, want to be grateful for my health. And most of all, I want to finish the Sunday before it melts. I don't think I've ever seen anyone over the age of six enjoy ice cream quite like you do. No, it's it's more. It's it's everything. 
Well, I've never felt quite like this. You know, it's like all of my senses are heightened. And this is the best Sunday ever. <laughs> Kelly's is the coziest, most charming place on earth. And you, I mean, I've always thought you were a good looking guy, but now <laughs> you're a vision. <laughs> <laughs> well, th thank you. I'm certainly flattered that you think that, but I won't let it go to my head since that was an observation that came from the vantage point of a new lease on life. I won't hold you to it, okay? I promise. Thank you for sharing this moment with me. I'm the one who should be thanking you. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I was so terrified, I literally couldn't think straight. But you were there. You were talking me down, making sure I stayed on the right course. You're a good friend, Nicholas, and I appreciate you. Thank you again for supporting me, for convincing me to have a biopsy, for letting me paralyze your hand while I waited for the good news. It's my pleasure. And I'm really glad that I've gotten to know you, but I'd like to know you better, if that's possible. I think we can work something out. I'll see you at the hospital reopening tomorrow. Yeah, looking forward to it. Good night. Thank you. You too.